Welcome to The Throat and Nothing But The Throat. Join me, Christine Jacobson de Haas, as we discover what's in our throat and most importantly, what makes it one of the most vulnerable organs in our body. And to answer all these questions, let me introduce to you our guest for today. He is the chairman of the Department of ENT Head and Neck Surgery at Makati Medical Center. Let's all welcome Dr. Joseph Sedeno. Hi, Christine. Kumusta na? You look pretty as ever. <laughs> Hi, so, Doc. Thank, thank you so much for joining us today. I understand you are thoroughly busy. So you're an in-demand doctor. Um, you know, like we said it in the opening of the program today, it's really all about our throat and nothing but the throat. So please, let's start it off. What is in our throat, Doc? Well, first of all, our throat is a ring-like muscular tube na nagsisilbing daluyan niya ng hangin, pagkain, at tubig. Mga bagay na importante sa araw-araw na nating pamumuhay. It, it connects the, the nose and the mouth to our breathing passages or yung windpipe going to the lungs. It also connects to our esophagus, yung daanan naman ng pagkain papuntang digestive system. Lingit sa kalaman ng karamihan, ang throat po natin ay hindi lalamunan lang o nasa loob lang ng ating leeg. It has three vital function parts. Una dyan, yung tonsils. Ito yung nasa likod, paligid ng ating bibig. Nasa likuran niya ng lalamunan natin. It helps to protect our body. Mm. And second is your pharynx. Ito yung connection ng ilong natin papunta sa daanan nga ng uh, hangin, yung voice box natin, and daanan din ng pagkain. So yan yung buong, buong pharynx yan, mula sa likod ng ilong hanggang sa daanan na ng pagkain. And lastly, we have your larynx or yung voice box. The way we talk, di ba? Ito naman yung opening area na daanan ng hangin papunta sa windpipe or yung trachea natin hanggang papuntang lungs natin. Okay, so now, Doc, now that we kind of have an idea of where everything is, you know, in our throat. And, you know, often enough, Doc, we always hear about sore throat, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, we know we know what it is, but what is it exactly in medical terms? What happens when we do have a sore throat? What's going on? Sore throat, unang-una nga, sabi mo nga, Christine, marami sa atin ang panigurado, nakaranas na ng pananakit, pangangate, and irritation sa ating lalamunan. At mas lalo pang sumasak ito pag mahirap talaga lumunok. Ito yung tinatawag na natin na sore throat when the, the, the pharynx or yung throat natin, yun yung namamaga. Tapos nagkaroon ng possible infection. Okay, so so with that, anong klase mga infections, Doc? Kasi syempre marami yan. Uh, different causes. What actually causes a sore throat? Oh, the Ma maraming possible cause. One is okay. allergies. Mm -hmm. Kasi yung mga allergens, pwede pumapasok yan papuntang ilong hanggang lanamunan kaya nakakaramdam tayo ng pangangate. Another one is virus, which is the more common one that causes infection. Virus talaga. And pangalawa, bacteria. Bacterial uh, uh, infection sa lanamunan. So, so the, the common. What happens, Doc? Okay, since you said there's a bacterial, there's a viral, and even you know, pag allergies na ng sore throat, ano pagkakaiba? Like kame, as a normal person, how would we know? Ano, what mm -hmm. we have? Is it a viral, bacterial? Um, tell us a little bit more about the symptoms and what can actually cure it, if ever. All right. Uh, Actually, 80, 85 to 95% of the time, when you have infection of the throat, it's commonly viral. Eh. Kaya, yeah. mapapansin nyo, most of the doctors won't give antibiotic right away because a viral infection can go away at the most up to three days. Nawawala na yan. Uh, it has, pag, pag viral, masakit din, sumasakit din ng katawan, masakit din ng lanamunan, but it can spontaneously resolve. Hindi to pwedeng gamutin ng, ano nga, ng antibiotic del virus nga siya. Ang binibigilan ng antibiotic ay eh, bacterial infection. Yung bacterial infection, ayan, yung mga nararamdaman lumalala at lumalampas mm. na ng 3 days. 4 or 5 days nandyan pa rin. Tapos nag-fever na. So iba naman ang treatment noon. So iba ang treatment ng viral or bacterial. Pero dapat talaga chinecheck ito. Kailangan i-check para malaman at makita ng doktor kung is this a viral or bacterial infection or baka simpleng allergy lang naman pala ito. And, and and dog okay so so that being said why is it the throat why does it become such a vulnerable organ i mean for it to get infected with the virus or the bacterial infection uh 
for the vulnerable ito, unang-una, di ba, I mentioned a while ago, nandiyan yung tonsils natin. Yung tonsils natin, ang function niyan talaga, actually, kinakain niya yung mikrobyo ng katawan natin. Tinatry niyang alisin yung mikrobyo. Pero kung hindi niya kayang alisin, eh, lumala, lumala na yung pakiramdam. Yung viruses naman, this, this replicate fast sa lalamunan natin, sa lining. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng mga respiratory symptoms later on. May sipon, may ubo, sumasakit ang lalamunan, mahirap lumunok, or masakit pag lumunok. Magkaiba naman yun. Ha? Iba yung mahirap at masakit ang lumunok. Uh, these viruses and bacteria, uh, madaling kumalat. Pamamagitan lang ng droplets yan. Eh. Sa ilong natin, nalamunan, uubo ka lang, magsalita ka lang, or mag-sneeze ka. Would you believe when you sneeze? Yung droplets na yan can go as far as 15-20 feet away. Yes. Yes. And yung speed niyan, yung speed ng droplet, It, it can reach up to 100-120 kilometers yeah. an hour. Yeah. Yung speed na parang kumanan. And then, may mga iba. Uubo si sipon, hahawak sa ibang gamit, sa doorknob, tapos hahawakan ng ibang tao. Nagsispread tuloy. Diba? Obilis kumalat tuloy itong mga virus and bacteria na ito just by doing that. That's, that's why we have to maintain hygiene. Yes, I mean, that's what we discovered during the whole COVID, the whole pandemic. I yes. mean, that was pretty much the, the topic of, of conversation of, of how to, you know, to keep ourselves safe and how not to get, you know, uh, the COVID virus right away. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah, uh, really important eh, yung, yung mask kapag inuubo. Nagiging conscious na nga tayo, di ba? Makarinig lang tayo ng ubo. Eh, tinitignan na natin eh. We try to protect ourselves and We often clean our hands nga, and then we, we try to take care of our throat properly. Thank you so much, Doc, for all that you know information that you shared with us about the throat. And I hope everybody today has been enlightened with our session. Now, for our viewers, if you do have any questions, feel, please feel free to share them on the comment section. And of course, we will try our best to answer them all. Until next time, do join me as we uncover the truth about the throat and nothing but the throat.